What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. We are sitting in a 2021 Flying Cloud 25 FBT and we'll tell you why. So you've probably seen us in a 25 FB Serenity and we talked about how much we liked how light it was, how much it reminded us of our interstate. Well in 2021 Airstream revamped the Flying Cloud interior and we really like it. Yes, uh, previously when we walked through the Flying Clouds they didn't wow us. Um, even though Flying Cloud is or was the most popular trailer out of the Airstream lineup which now is kind of shifting towards base camp um, but with the flying cloud whenever we would walk in there it just didn't give us that modern airy feeling mm -hmm. that we did feel with the serenity international yep so we came in here today to check out some of the differences um, that are in the 2021 version and we really are digging them so let's take a look Okay, I'll tell you two reasons why we really like the 25 FB floor plan of the Airstreams. One is this great table setup plus lounge. We think this is work, gonna work really good for Chris and I working on both sides of the table. And then also we have a long L couch that we can sit, have guests over, and also watch TV if we want to. The second reason is the 25 FB has the largest tanks of the smallest Airstream trailers. So in that you get 37, or no, it's 35 fresh, 37 gray, and 40 black. So that's a big deal to us boondockers because right now we're sitting with a 15 gallon black tank and that's no good. But let's take a look at this setup we have here. This is the uh, dinette that flips down and makes into a bed. And actually the other side here also pulls out and makes a bed. So how cool is that? You can have a bed with uh, extra cushions here. And then this also makes a giant bed. So great for lounging or great for guests. Underneath this dinette seat, there's a subwoofer in the back for the JL audio system. You can't see it, but you also get a nice drawer and we think we would use this for shoes, I'm guessing. This is that JL audio system I was talking about. Upgraded Bluetooth, looks nice. Along with a Sony Blu-ray player. USB, if you noticed, these nice flat gray cabinets. Much better than the sliding cabinets before. The hardware is also upgraded and it's kind of like a soft close touch. Along with the wraparound windows that we have behind you there, we also have these great vista views, these giant 30 inch windows that open almost all the way up, and then a fantastic fan and a skylight on the roof. So that really attracts us to these trailers so much. It's just light, bright, airy. Behind me is a nice LG TV. And then also up top, you have the ducted air conditioning along with all of the LED lights, which are dimmable. Let's take a look at this new updated kitchen and see what Chris thinks of that. Here we are in my most favorite room, the kitchen. And right away, I am attracted to the sink countertop, which is now a square. It functions a lot better than the rounded circular and it looks cleaner and more modern in my opinion. It does have a nice countertop or cutting board that you can put over the sink. And this does fit right here, which is um, really smart. You know, when things just kind of function smartly, it's like, a, ooh, that's nice. So I really like that. So you can use your cutting board. Um, the big square sink is a nice upgrade with the residential faucet. So you can get your big skillets and pots and pans in here, no problem without fumbling them around. Also in the kitchen, you have a really nice toe kick area so this allows you to get up nice and close to your workspace without stubbing your toes uh, you do get a lot of storage in here you have a trash bin inside you do get a lot of space further back which is accessible through this door on the side so that's great that you can really utilize every inch of storage 
particularly in the areas where you know there's plumbing and hoses and power cords that you're not blocked since you have that access on the side. Also in the kitchen, this stove top is a nice new upgrade where it's a little bit more flush to the countertop. Again, so when you're coming in with your groceries or you're trying to put on a nice spread, you can really use this space a lot easier versus the old covers that kind of protruded up an inch or so, give or take. So this is a nice three burner stove top. That's great. And then you have your convection microwave. So that's awesome. Plenty of storage in here. I do like the cabinetry design. It's like a nice soft wood grain appearance. And of course you have these nice big flip up cabinets that Aaron had mentioned. Nice and flat. These are gonna be super easy to clean. At first, I didn't really like the lack of handles because it can be like, what are you grabbing for to open? But now I changed my mind and I really like it that it is handleless because that does make it easier to clean and it really just does streamline the appearance of the kitchen. So now I'm a big fan of that and I love that they're flip up versus the sliders. I find the sliders are kind of fumbly. Again, this is easier to get larger items in and out. And then also, this can hide your mess. So the sliders being somewhat transparent, you can see exactly what's going on, which not everybody wants that. So I love it in here. Pantry storage is great. There is even a little cubby down here, which I don't know, I can see myself putting like heavy bottles, like heavy bottles of olive oil or balsamic or things that you don't want clinking around. And of course, you gotta talk about the fridge, which <laughs> is very important. You don't realize how important it is until you go with a small fridge and then you just really want a big one. So this is a really great size. It's a Dometic and plenty of freezer space, plenty of fridge space, super functional. I love that. More storage up above it and down below. Underneath the sofa, you get another great little storage compartment with these super convenient bins. The bins come with it and it just makes it easy to pull things in and out. It keeps it tidy so that you're not reaching down. I mean, you could definitely take these out and use the space however you want. Um, find what works best for you and what you need to store. Moving down, we have the furnace intake area and another storage compartment. So before we move further back into the trailer, I did want to point out that um, this unit does sleep six comfortably with the fold down sofa that Aaron had showed and the table that converts down to a bed. So moving back, this blind is a new upgrade. It's a curtain, I should call it. It's a privacy curtain. Um, this is a nice soft fabric versus before it was the accordion style, which the accordion styles, some people find them clumsy and sometimes stick. So this is a lot more fluid, a lot more softer, a lot more modern. And then we have a great wardrobe closet here. Plenty of space for hanging items and a shelf up top. This is really deep. Now moving into the bathroom where I like to have Aaron model the bathroom. He is our official shower tester for his nice height. So let's get him in there. I don't think that they changed these on the 2021 models. It looks very, very similar to the rest of the ones that we've been in. So let's step on in. And again, I'm 6'2". I can fit out here, but it is a slanted roof. So, um, you know. I'm going to have to duck a little bit, but we're coming from a wet bath. So this uh, separate shower is money to us. Here we are in the dry portion of the bathroom, which is another uh, really great thing to have. If you've ever been in a wet bath, you know how awesome dry baths are. You have a nice uh, porcelain Dometic, plenty of storage space. The cabinetry in here is great. Again, just super functional for, you know, just putting stuff in. Lots of counter space, lots of mirror space, um, vanity storage areas. And it's really good lighting in here too. 
Also in 2021, we have a nice upgraded tankless water heater, which means when you are hooked up to a water line, you get unlimited hot water as long as you have the water source coming in. So you no longer have a limited tank of heated water to use or to worry about. So that covers it for the bathroom. Let's go to the final room in the house, the bedroom. Welcome into the bedroom with the twin beds. The twin beds are either people love them or hate them. However, the demand for them is growing. It is attractive because it really just opens up the entire trailer and makes it feel a lot larger. It also makes it feel wider back here because you're able to stand in the center and not feel so claustrophobic with the queen bed. So the twin bed is nice because you can each get out without waking each other up. Also, you do get a lot of storage underneath here. There's cubbies all around and that is just fantastic. It's nice to be able to access it from the center so that you're not, you know, like walking around the edge of the bed. You get more storage here in the bed rest area, the nightstand area. The countertop is great that you can both share. You get your reading lights, you got your speakers, you get your TV, you get dimmer switches for your LED lights. You have your duct system coming all the way back. It's really cool because there's like a three degrees variance from front to back with the system that they have in here. So you're gonna feel comfortable with the temperature. Get more storage in this little cabinet. You can do a hanging wardrobe as they have set up. You can take the shelves out or leave the shelves stacked. And of course these same cabinets up above for all of your clothes or whatever you want to keep in here. And the famous wraparound windows. You can imagine what this would look like with all of the curtains open and getting that great view. One more big cabinet on this side. Tons of space. And that is one of the big benefits of the Airstreams. There is a lot of interior space on these. Well, are you ready? Yeah. Well, that's going to do it for the 2021 Flying Carl. Well, that's going to do it for this. Well, that's going to do it for this little tour of the 2021 Flying Cloud front bread 25 <laughs> twin. Oh. Well, that's going to do it for this tour of the 2021 Flying Cloud and we really enjoyed this one. I think the new interior Airstream kind of nailed and uh, this is definitely gonna give the um, International and the Globetrotter a bit of their run for their money. I'd say so. In the Flying Cloud line. Well done, Airstream. So, we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.